November 11th is a day when many of us are off from school and work with post offices, banks, and many stores close to business. There are ceremonies, parades, and memorial services with lots of American flags and uniforms and people saluting. So what is the significance of this special day? It's Veterans Day, a holiday when we honor and thank the men and women throughout history who have served and protected our country here and overseas. Veterans Day is also a great time to think about all of the people who serve in so many different ways and why serving others is so important to our nation. Welcome to Voices of Us, Why We Serve, a very special Discovery Education virtual field trip. Hey everyone, I'm David. And I'm Sophie. We're at Pershing Square in Washington, D.C., home of the new National World War I Memorial and an awesome spot to celebrate Veterans Day. Veterans are honored men and women who once served in the U.S. Armed Forces, the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, Coast Guard, and Space Force. They can be found in every U.S. state and territory, be almost any age, and each one has a unique story. However, they do share one thing in common. They all chose to serve our country in a very special way. How many U.S. veterans do you think there are? Would you believe there are more than 18 million veterans living among us? You may have a veteran in your family, but even if you don't, I'll bet you or someone in your family knows a veteran. Veterans Day honors the service of all these heroes and is held every year on November 11th. There's a special reason why it's held on November 11th. Do you know what it is? The answer goes all the way back to November 11th, 1918. That's the day when world powers signed a peace treaty called an Armistice Agreement to end World War I. In that agreement, it says that World War I would officially end on the 11th hour, on the 11th day of the 11th month. Did you know that World War I was called the War to End All Wars? It involved more than 30 countries and was so destructive that many people believe that governments should stop fighting wars to solve their problems. The end of this war was such a big deal that for years after, the U.S. and many other nations around the world celebrated Armistice Day on November 11th. An armistice is an agreement to stop fighting. In 1954, the U.S. changed the name of the holiday to Veterans Day so we could honor the veterans of all U.S. wars. So, how do we honor our veterans on November 11th? Well, we get the whole day off from school. Yes, and most government and state workers get the day off too. But there's an important reason we get the day off. It gives us a chance to celebrate and thank our military veterans with ceremonies, parades, and memorial services all over the country. This probably sounds a lot like another special holiday we get every year, Memorial Day, but there's a big difference. Memorial Day pays tribute to service members who died in service to our nation. Veterans Day celebrates all military veterans, living and dead, who have served. Let's learn more about the history and significance of Veterans Day from someone who is a veteran himself. Mr. Neil McIntyre. He works at Arlington National Cemetery, which every year holds one of the biggest Veterans Day ceremonies. A lot of times when you think about Veterans Day, I make a comparison to other holidays, such as President's Day, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, where we set aside time to learn about those leaders and pioneers of our country, as well as to show some respect and honor them for their service to our nation. And so I think that's the same thing that Veterans Day affords is that opportunity. My name is uh, Neil McIntyre. I'm the director of interments here at Arlington National Cemetery. Here at Arlington National Cemetery, we have the opportunity to honor veterans every day. And so as the director of interments, we conduct military services where we lay veterans and their family members who have passed away to rest with honor and the dignity that their service deserves. On Veterans Day, there's a National Veterans Observance where a senior government official comes to lay a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and give a speech honoring and speaking to the sacrifice, and the dedication, and the commitment that it takes to be a veteran and showing appreciation for all veterans for their service on that day. This year will be even more special as we celebrate the centennial anniversary of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. And so most certainly 
always and, and every day we take the opportunity to recognize those veterans who have served, but especially this year, we want to demonstrate in a much bigger way and, and honor those who have served are in our military. I started serving in the United States Army in 1990. I started off as a field artillery officer. I retired after 30 years of service. It was a tremendous, tremendous opportunity to serve. I think that when you initially raise your right hand to commit to a military service, I think there are reasons uh, why you do so. And, I, and potentially, there are as many reasons as there are people who serve. And then as you continue to serve, I think those reasons evolve. But once you start to serve the military, and maybe serve an enlistment or two, or a year or two of service in the military, it starts to be more about loyalty, it starts to be more about dedication, pride, discipline, all those things that really draw you, attract you to the service member to your left and to your right, to the organization and the unit that you serve within, and in service of that given organization's mission. I think service really is about improving the lives of others. So for veterans, you know, we talk about the protection and the defense of American freedoms. You know, that's really what and how veterans commit to serve. But within our communities, you have teachers, you have volunteers who commit the self-same way to improve the lives of those that live within the communities that they live and work in. Veterans Day is all about celebrating the people who have served. Many of them serve in the military knowing they could get hurt. Some of them are away from their families for long periods of time. So what inspires millions of people to make the decision to serve? There are almost as many reasons as there are veterans. Some do it because their family members were in the military. Many do it to show their love for their country. Others do it to learn new skills or help pay for their college education or to travel the world. And some want to travel even farther than that. The newest branch of the American military is the Space Force, which was started in 2019. And the oldest part of the military is the National Guard, which was started in 1636. That's almost 400 years ago. So the National Guard is actually older than this country. <laughs> Their job is to step in when the military needs extra help. So a lot of National Guardsmen have other jobs too. They can be sent to help with things like natural disasters in their home state or even missions in other countries. Our next guest knows a lot about that kind of service. She spent 23 years in the military, serving in the National Guard and the Army Reserves before joining the United States Senate. Let's meet Senator Joni Ernst. The significance of Veterans Day is very meaningful for me because I am a veteran. I served in the reserves, the U.S. Army Reserves, as well as the Iowa Army National Guard. I served on Operation Iraqi Freedom as what we call a company commander and led 150 soldiers. There are many different jobs in the military and a job like mine, we delivered supplies through Iraq to the front line where there were men and women that were serving in more combat related jobs. The job of my unit was transporters. So we drove trucks, we had mechanics that kept those trucks up and going. We drove a lot of miles and a lot of really tough conditions. It was dangerous, but it was also very rewarding to know that my truck drivers and my mechanics, we were all supporting those soldiers that were out there fighting the battles. And it's just very important to me to celebrate those that have served our great nation. A time of service that was very meaningful is when I was able to respond to flooding situations in my state of Iowa. There were a lot of kids and a lot of moms and dads that didn't have homes to live in. And to be able to respond and provide them with necessary clean water and clothing, it made a real difference to me. And also influenced how I operate today as a, a legislator in the United States Senate. Service is really important to us as Americans because we want to help those that need help through challenges, help them find opportunities. And that's what our country was founded on. So it's groups of men and women and kids coming together and finding ways to support other people to make their lives better. 
So today I've brought a few things that are significant to me from my time in service. And the first is what we call a challenge coin. And it's a challenge coin because we're challenging our soldiers to do a great job. Anytime they're stepping up and providing service or doing something special. So just always remember that, to step up to the challenge. The next item that I brought is something that is very important to me, but it's not from my service. This is my daughter who is at the United States Military Academy. She saw her mom serving in uniform and she decided to serve in the United States Army as well. And then the final thing that I've brought to show you is, oh, and it's very heavy, but it is my National Guard backpack. I carry this backpack with me every single day. So if you can see here, the date is 1636, and the National Guard was established in 1636, even before our country was founded. And that's why the Minuteman which was on my coin as well, is the symbol of the National Guard because it was founded in 1636. They were part of what we call a militia or they were farmers and business people from the communities and they were established to protect our colonies before we were a country. It is really important to serve your school, your community, your state, and it doesn't matter how old you are. Even if you think you're just a kid, what can I do? There are so many ways you can help your community. If you want to read to a friend, that service. If you want to visit an elderly neighbor and check in to see if there's anything you can do to help them, that's providing service as well. It starts with one person and it spreads. It doesn't matter what grade you're in or how old you are, you can always do something helpful for another person. So far, we've learned about the history and significance of Veterans Day, and we also learned about serving in the National Guard from Senator Joni Ernst. People in the military often spend lots of time away from their families, so their children sacrifice a lot too. We reached out to the kids from Operation Homefront, a national nonprofit that supports military families, to see what questions they had about Veterans Day and service. To answer their questions, we recruited U.S. Representative Mikey Sherrill, a former U.S. Navy helicopter pilot. Hi, I'm Congresswoman Mikey Sherrill, and I proudly represent New Jersey's 11th District. Before I got into Congress, I was a Navy helicopter pilot, a federal prosecutor, and I'm also a mom of four kids. So I'm really excited to answer your questions today. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Deja, and I'm the 2021 U.S. Navy Military Child of the Year. Why did you decide to join the U.S. Navy? I decided to go into the Navy because I wanted to fly and I wanted to serve my country. So my grandpa actually flew a B-24 bomber in World War II and his plane was shot down over occupied France. So he had to parachute out of his airplane and he was rescued by the French as he was trying to escape the Nazis. And he told me stories about his service and he also told me about how much he just loved flying airplanes. He always loved flying until the day he died. And he really instilled in me a desire to both serve my country and to fly airplanes, or in my case, helicopters. Hi, my name is Kyneth, and I'm the 2020 Innovation Military Child of the Year. What kind of helicopter do you fly? And how is that different from flying an airplane? So when I was in the Navy, I flew an H three Sea King. And if any of you have ever been watching TV and you've seen the helicopter that the president flies in, that's the kind of helicopter I flew. It's called an H three Sea King. And when the president's flying in it, it's got a special name. It's called Marine One. And that's the green helicopter with the white top that he flies in. And so that's the type of helicopter I flew in. Helicopters go up and down and they can hover. They can stay in one place, which aircraft can't do. When you're flying an aircraft, you need a runway. And so you can take off and then you need time to land. Helicopters, you can kind of take off and land from a lot of different places, including small Navy boats, which is what I landed on a lot of times. 
which was a lot of fun, but also, especially at night, it could be really challenging and difficult. Hello, my name is Caleb, and I am the 2021 Army Military Child of the Year. What are some ways that students like me can serve too? When I was your age, I did a lot of community service projects. I went and worked at soup kitchens to feed people who were hungry. Sometimes I just brought in the mail for an older neighbor who had a hard time getting to their mailbox or brought in their trash cans. So there's just a lot of ways you can help out your community and help out your neighbors. And that's a great way to serve. Hi, my name is Naya and I am the 2021 Air Force Military Child of the Year. How do you usually celebrate Veterans Day? As a congressperson, I work with a lot of veterans in my district. So usually on Veterans Day, we have a lot of events, whether it's to help them with some of the paperwork they need help with, make them aware of the different services that veterans can utilize to get new jobs or to get job training or medical services. Personally, I also use Veterans Day as a time to reflect on all of the people who've served our country, who fought hard so that we can live in a democracy that we can have freedom of speech. We can elect the leaders that we want to elect. We can practice the religion we want to practice. It's really special here and something that sometimes you take for granted. I remember how there are people throughout our nation's history who died so that we could have those opportunities and those rights in our Constitution. That's often how I spend Veterans Day. We've met some truly inspiring people today. We sure have. And did you know that there are many ways people can serve their country and communities in addition to being in the U.S. military? That's right. Police officers, firefighters, nurses, teachers, and people who volunteer their time in places like soup kitchens or as after-school tutors. All those people serve others. And even young people like us can serve and make a difference to our fellow citizens. Let's meet Bethel a high school senior in Virginia who loves volunteering in her community and has found many interesting ways to do so. Hi, I'm Bethel and I'm excited to show the many ways you can volunteer in your communities. There's a lot of ways I volunteer, but one of my favorite ways is writing. I love to write, so during the pandemic, I started using my writing skills to help others and to inform others. And I write blogs and articles to inform people of the health and safety of animals. And this really meant a lot to me because helping animals is really my top priority. I also work in a book drive. I edit and post blogs on the book drive, which is an Ethiopian book drive to help little kids in Ethiopia get books. When I was in Ethiopia, I was privileged to have a private education and books, any books that I want to read. But I knew some people close to me who weren't as privileged and who couldn't get any books. And that's the majority of Ethiopia. So helping them, donating books to them is important to me. I also work in a senior facility giving letters to seniors. I'm working with six other kids from Alexandra and Springfield to work together to collectively write letters and deliver them to senior homes. And we thought that that would help others in senior homes to feel loved and appreciated during the pandemic where they couldn't visit their families and friends. We want to show the seniors that Generation Z, we care about them. We care about their well-being, their safety, their living, their enjoyment overall. And we want to show appreciation to them. It's a very simple thing you can do, but it really means a lot. Volunteering in things that you're interested in and passionate in is the best way. If you like writing, you can write blogs like me. If you like animals, you can volunteer at animal shelters. If you like books, you can volunteer at libraries. If you like baking, you can bake and bake cookies and give that to nurses at hospitals. It's really about you and what you're passionate about. 
It really doesn't matter how big or small it is. It just matters about your attentions and giving your time to help others in your community. Anyone can volunteer. You can volunteer. I can volunteer. Your parents can volunteer. When I'm volunteering, I feel the most happiest because it's always rewarding to volunteer and to help others because it really fills your heart and I feel like everyone should do it. Beth will give us some great ideas about how we can serve in our community no matter what age we are. If you're looking for even more ideas, check in with your school local library, or service organizations in your community. There are so many ways you can serve others. There are also a lot of ways to say thank you to the people who serve too. You can write letters, send care packages, and if you happen to see a military service member or a veteran, go up to them and thank them for their service. Thank you to all the students from Operation Homefront who asked questions today, and to all the experts who taught us about Veterans Day and some of the reasons why we serve. On behalf of Discovery Education, a very special thank you to all of you veterans out there who have served us all. Happy Veterans Day, thank you for your service. Happy Veterans Day, thank you so much for your service. Happy Veterans Day, and thank you for your service. Happy Veterans Day, thank you for your service. Happy Veterans Day, thank you for your service. Have a happy Veterans Day.